Okay guys, so it's time to take a look at some of the notable micros that showed up my channel in the month of February 2018. And I'm going to start off here with the uh, Jet 110. Um, I didn't really do a video on this one. I, I did talk about the frame, did a frame review, and then I did talk about this in terms of uh, my little FPV um, camera review rig. I use this to record uh, the video footage from various FPV cameras to an onboard DVR. I did, do, I did do a video about that, but I didn't do a build video on this because there really isn't much to talk about in terms of a build video, so I didn't feel like there was really a need to dedicate a video to that. Um, these builds are getting to be quite easy, and really all you do here is you you uh, mount the flight control, or sorry, mount the 401 ESC, then you mount the four motors, you solder the motors to the ESC, and then this is the uh, HGLRC F428 stack, so the flight controller just plugs into the ESC via six pins, and then you just connect up all your um, FPV components, your camera, to the video transmitter, video transmitter to the flight controller, etc. In this case, there's a little bit more complication because of the DVR, but that's all there is to this build. Um, you know, these really, you have motors, you have a stack and a camera uh, and a frame. So uh, the reason you guys don't see a lot of uh, build videos on some of these is that there's kind of pointless to repeat the same sort of video over and over again because the process in building these is pretty much the same. You have a power stack here with a ESC, flight controller, video transmitter. You have four motors, a frame and a camera. And you, it's really, really easy to put it together. And if you've seen some of my previous videos on builds, um, you know they get kind of monotonous because they're, they're repeating the same process over and over again. So I just tell people watch a older video and just substitute part A for part B. You know, different frame, different motors, whatever, and you get a pretty similar build. The process to building is the same, which is why I don't do those videos or do a whole lot of videos because unless there's something really different or exotic or unique. I'm not going to make a video on that. It's just a waste of everyone's time. But this is the Jet 110. This is the frame that I've been using to do the FPV camera reviews. And the reason I use that because the camera is kind of forward. There's no props in view. And I get the uh, space here for a taller stack for the onboard uh, DVR. And uh, if you're looking for a frame for a little taller stack for more components, is a good frame. And uh, you don't get props in view. And that's why I'm using this frame. So that's just, just uh, if people are asking a lot about this particular build, so that's just me covering this build, and we'll move on to the rest of the stuff. Okay, so not a whole lot of two and a half inch micro showed up on my channel this month. Uh, there was a build I did. The um, this is the BRDM uh, Nemesis X, pretty nice flyer. Uh, I didn't use uh, the same components that they built this out with. Um, but I'll talk about this here a little more in a second. The other one that showed up was the HGLRC Hornet. This is the uh, Hornet 120. And this is this is my pick of the month uh, for February. This two and a half inch micro. Um, the reason is it's faster, it's lighter, and it's a little easier to tune, and it's cheaper. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going with this one. It's $160. It doesn't come with a receiver, um, but it's, it does come with a wiring loom that you can watch in the review video. And by the way, all the review videos for all these products. Links to those will all be in the description below. So just click on those, and if you want more details on all of these reviews, uh, you can just go to those where I talk about them in more detail. But the reason I like the Hornet better than this build here is mainly due to the cost. Um, now, I did go with some cheaper motors than I think what they use. They use the Sunny Sky 1106. I went with the BBB 1105 6000 kV motors. I mean, don't get me wrong, this flies very nice. I like it. Uh, I did go with the top mounted battery option, which is I think what, is what they're recommending. Honestly, as I, I mentioned in that review video, I can't tell much of a difference between a bottom mounted battery and a top mounted battery. They seem to fly very similarly to me. Um, obviously, you're going to have to adjust your flying style to where the CG is because the way it, uh, the weight is carried in the turns and the way you have to manage your throttle is different. Um, only people that have flown a lot of Acro are going to be able to know. And even myself, I can barely tell. And it was very easy to just adjust my flying style and the way I manage my throttle to the way the battery was on the BRDM. Now the other thing um, was that this BRDM uh, custom build here is more expensive. 
Uh, not including the receiver, it was about $220 for all the parts for this particular model. And for the HGLRC Hornet, uh, already built out of the box, all you had to do is ask solder on a receiver. This one comes in at $160. So that's uh, about a $60 difference for two quads here that uh, fly pretty similarly. The Hornet is actually faster than this one because it has 1106 motors and this has 1105 motors. Uh, the BRDM is a little bit lighter than the Hornet, but because the bigger motor, this is just much faster. And I think this one actually flies better and it's easier to tune and it's cheaper. So that's why if you're looking for a 2.5 inch micro that you, you don't have to build and don't have to go uh, scavenge for a bunch of parts, I recommend going with the Hornet 120 over the uh, BRDM. But if you want a top mounted battery and don't mind spending more money and, and actually like custom building stuff, then yeah, check out the, the BRDM Nemesis X. I think it flies pretty well, but it is more expensive. Okay, so now moving on to the three inch micros that showed up here. Basically we're looking at the uh, Skyzone S140 and then you have the Diatone GTM3. Um, they both are very fast. They both are huge battery hogs. I think the Skyzone here only comes in one config, a Truex. The Diatone comes in three different configs. You get a Truex um, or actually a, no a normal X like an H style. You get a stretched X and then you have a plus configuration. The um, technology on the Skyzone is a little bit older. You got an F3 board here. It, it did not come with a receiver and it's pretty expensive. It's over $200. It does come with bigger motors. They're 1506 motors, uh, pretty high KV. They do burn through your battery very quick, uh, even quicker than the Diatone here. At, uh, I think this is a 1408 at 4100 KV. And it does also burn your battery pretty quick. The Skyzone is heavier. so. Basically, I'm going to go. I, I'm going to go with the Diatone over the Skyzone because of a lower cost. It's about 100. I think it's 180 dollars versus over like 220 for the Skyzone. They both don't come with the receivers. Uh, all the other equipment is pretty similar. The the Diatone does come with a better flight controller, an F4 flight controller, and I think the EUCs are a little bit smaller, 20 versus 28 amp on the Skyzone. So you, know, you got some pretty similar specs, but I think that because the weight's lower on the Diatone, it actually flies faster. I think the weight's a little bit too heavy on these 1506 motors. Yeah, they're a lot of power, but they're also heavier. And so I think that kind of cancels out the benefit. And um, where you'll feel that um, extra weight is in, when, in the lower end of the throttle band, you have to manage your throttle more on the Sky Zone versus the Diatone. So then if you look at the Diatone versus say an older one from a previous month, the HDLRC um, XJB145, this one is a pretty nice flyer. It does come with a 1407 uh, 3600 kV motor, so this is slower than the the Diatone. This is a, a little bit less powerful, a little bit slower motor than the Diatone. It's a little bit lighter, about 10 grams lighter than the Diatone, but the Diatone's motors are much more powerful than these motors, so you get this much, much faster than the HGLRC. Now, don't get me wrong, the HGLRC is still pl plenty fast. It's, it's a very good product. If you like uh, an all-carbon top here instead of uh, the metal cage, you know, this is definitely still a, a winner. But I think that if I had to choose between, you know, one or the other, if I if I only had so much money and I can only pick the di one or the Diatone or the HGRC, I would pick the Diatone over the HGRC. But of course, you know, if you have the money, go get them both. Okay, now I forgot to mention that uh, going back to the two and a half inch class, why I would pick the Hornet over the Mini uh, fight here. This was my previous winner in January. Um, you know the pretty similar in cost. I think it's 160 for both of them, although the Mini Flight does come with a, a receiver. The flight controller on the Mini Flight is an F3 versus an F4 on the Hornet. Uh, the Mini Flight's a bit heavier and it's not as fast as the Hornet. So uh, the Mini Flight comes with a Sunny Sky 1106 5500 kV motor versus the HGLRC comes with their new 1106 6000 kV motor. So the Hornet being lighter and a faster motor does make the Hornet much more uh, faster overall top speed and also in terms of uh, maneuverability and uh, in, terms, in terms of agility it's actually better than the mini fight. Plus I, pr I personally like these uh, cage style frames better than the top plate. This is a more traditional type of frame here and the camera is a little bit more forward, less props for indeed versus the mini fight. But you know again the mini fight's a very good product. Um, they're both very good. I just if I had to choose again I would choose the Hornet over the mini fight. And in fact, I'm probably going to uh, be taking the mini fight apart and putting the parts into a different frame, something 
that uh, maybe a frame that I like better versus maybe something a little lighter than this particular frame. But the parts in there are pretty good if you're just looking for parts. But again, I would go for the Hornet over the Mini Fight. Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, this video for the month of February 2018. Uh, again, links to all of the review videos for all the products will be in the description below if you want to check out more details on all the individual products that you've seen in this video. But these are my sort of top picks for this month. And again, uh, as more stuff comes out in March, we'll see if uh, those things beat out the ones that came out of this month. It seems like, you know, as the trend you know goes on here from month to month, uh, you know, things do seem to be improving slightly, but you know, it's not like they're dramatic improvements. They're more like, okay, little minor uh, upgrades from here to here. And I think that if you looked at, if you go back like say six months ago, I think you'll find that you'll see more dramatic improvements. But you know, going from one month to the next, the improvements are not as dramatic, but they're still there and I'm just trying to point them out for your benefit. Anyway, it's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.